Hello friends and welcome to Take Two for this Monday, the 16th of March, 2020. I'm Jeannie. I'm so glad you decided to come along for the ride today. Well, you know, we lived in England for three years and we love everything British. We are true Angliophiles. Not only do we appreciate the culture and do we appreciate the, uh, uh, just the people and just the, the, beauty, the beauty of the scenery there and so on and so forth, one of the things that we really do appreciate is that typical British calmness about things. Now, they can get worked up, too. If you've ever been to a sporting event with them, you'll see the way they behave. But I'm talking about in just everyday life. They have a saying which I absolutely love, and it is this. Keep calm and carry on. Now, I love this mug. I got this a long time ago. I don't even use it. See, it even has the little tag on it because I just want it to, uh, I never want to break this cup or anything. I just want it to be there on display to remind me of the value of this saying. You know, right now in this world, boys and girls, there is a bit of mass hysteria. All you have to do is try to go grocery shopping or try to go out in any kind of public place where there's people gather together and you'll see that there's a lot of uncalmness if there's such a word people are panicking it's more of a panic demic than it is a pandemic going on with this COVID-19 now listen here's what I'm going to advise you boys and girls Take precautions. Be wise. Don't be stupid. Don't poo-poo the whole thing and say, ah, there's nothing to it. No, there is something to it, of course. This wouldn't be making news if there wasn't something to it, if people hadn't been affected, if some people hadn't died, if there hadn't been quarantines and all of this. It's all true that there is a serious issue at hand. But what isn't true is the way some people are responding. They're just reacting in a wrong way. They're panicking. Listen, wash your hands. What a simple thing to do. That's something you should have been doing anyway. But please, take the advice of the Brits. Keep calm and carry on. Just keep going until you're told you can't go here or you can't do this. Keep going just as if life is going on because guess what? It is. You know, we had good friends in England, the Taylors. And Frank Taylor, even though he was living in the Midlands for many years, he grew up in the Chelsea part of London. Now, he's in his 80s now, so he clearly remembers when World War II was going on. And he was a little boy growing up in Chelsea, London. And he said he remembers going to school one day and coming home from school. And the next door neighbor's house had been hit by a Nazi buzz bomb. Bomb, and it was flattened. Now, can you imagine? There was the threat of bombs bombing houses and, and cities in England, but they carried on. They kept calm and carried on. They didn't even suspend school for the children because they knew that they could not be living in fear, but rather they had to just keep calm and Go on with life. So that's my encouragement to you today, boys and girls. Listen to me. Carry on. Don't be ignorant. Don't not take precautions. Don't behave badly. And please, think about others. Think about the elderly people that you know who may be running out of things in their house and they might need a visit. They may need you to come by and check in on them. Think about things like that. Think about a single mother who had to work while her kids are at school school and now her kids have to stay home from school. Think about folks like that who you could help. Call your local United Way or call lo your local church. Call around and say, can I volunteer? Can I help you? I mean, I work every Monday. Today is my um, is my Living Hope Day and I. it's important to me that, 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 that I do this so that I can serve the community and serve uh, the public because I know that a lot of times when you're going through something like this, it's going to get worse before it gets better because of the lack 
of calmness. So listen, go out and be a blessing to somebody today. Be a blessing to many if you can, because you may be the only one who is. I saw the way some people behaved online at the grocery store, and it was sickening. They were acting like it was the last roll of toilet paper they would ever own in their life, and they were cursing at each other and all sorts. This is crazy. We don't want to be living like that. Please take my advice, which is great advice from Great Britain, from the UK. Keep calm and carry on. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey, don't let this pandemic stuff keep you from becoming a subscriber by going to Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R on YouTube and hit that, uh, that notification bell and you'll be notified every time another Take Two is posted. Okay, I love you all very much. Listen, have a blessed week. May this be your best week ever that you could go out and just be a blessing to everybody around you, okay? Keep calm, and please just carry on. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.